Hi, I'm Roy with Altex, and today we're going to talk about replacing your power supply. Now your power supply is a power plant of your PC. Without it, your PC is not going to run. Now why would you replace your power supply? Perhaps your power supply is faulty, in which case you need to replace it with one of equal or greater wattage. Perhaps you've upgraded components in your system and you just need more power. Now before starting any project in your PC, always remember to wear an ESD wrist strap. Now let's talk about the connectors. Now coming off the power supply, we have both Molex and SATA connectors. Now these connectors are generally used to send power to both optical drives and hard drives, which I'm going to remove now. Next we also have a optional 6-pin power connector going to a video card if necessary. We also have 20 or 24-pin connector connected to the motherboard. If you don't need all 24 pins, you can separate this connector like this. Also, if your motherboard requires it, we have an additional 8-pin power connector. If you don't need all 8 pins and only need 4, you can separate it like that. Now we've got everything disconnected, we're going to remove the screws anchoring the power supply to the case. Now this particular power supply has four screws anchoring it to the case, which I'm going to pull out right now. Now the power supply should just lift right out of the case. Now we're going to install the new power supply. This power supply should seat in the same position as the previous power supply. Next we're going to install the four screws to anchor the power supply back to the case. Now once we got the power supply anchored to the case, we're going to go ahead and reconnect everything. Let me go ahead and first start with the SATA connectors. I'm going to start by connecting this to the hard drive. Next I will hook up the optical drive. This motherboard takes all 24 pins, so we're going to plug in 24 pin power connector. It also takes the additional 8 pin connector, which we have right here. Now once you get all the connectors hooked up, you may find that you have a lot of additional connectors left. Those are going to be for accessories in your case. Uh, perhaps you have additional case fans uh, hooked up or additional drives. Now that everything is hooked up, we can talk a little bit about cable management. A lot of the cables can simply be pushed aside, but there may be a few pesky ones that need special attention. In that case, zip ties or Velcro straps may come in handy. Now once the power supply is connected, remember to power up your PC to ensure proper install. And if at any point during this process you don't feel comfortable, feel free to bring it in to Altex and we'll take care of that for you. Once again, I'm Roy with Altex. Thank you for watching.